John Daniel Douglas. Looks like someone wants to sell me something. <laughs> I'm sleeping, sweetheart. I'm gonna pretend to be dead. I would do that. I would do that. Oh, yeah. I hope you heard that. Sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I would leave you alone. I would leave the sessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Oh, my Amanda. She's so cute. Yeah. Oh, hell no. I have hair. Hmm. 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 Do I want to do me as a dad? Or make a dad character? Hmm. I'll just start making one. I can have a butt chin. I'm a handsome motherfucker. Hmm. This is unnecessarily hard. Hmm. Do I want to make a real dad or do I want to make a crackhead dad like this? Sleepy. I'm sleepy. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make me. Yeah, I'm gonna make me as a dad. I just realized something. I could make. I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm doing. Oh, they don't have his nose. He has a very wide nose. <laughs> Good enough. I love this. Eggnips. Plain suit. You know, he doesn't have. No. I mean, okay. No. I'm going to make my own. See, you have to stop me from making someone else. I'm gonna make him my own. I'm not gonna make Heisenberg. I do want him to have a beard. Green? No. He's sleepy. He's a dad. He's sleepy. Pretty eyes. Pretty, pretty. Handsome man. I'm gonna make him gray. Cute. Do I give him glasses? Yeah, why not? Pink beard piercings. Yeah, let's give him these. Let's give him these. Go dad. Okay, what is he gonna be wearing? I want him to be sophisticated. Party suit. I think we have our man. But the egg. Look at him! What do I name him? I need help with a name. Hmm. Does he look like a market? Let me ask my my people. Okay, let's see what we have. Steve. Steve. Steve? Steve what? Okay, his name's Steve. He keeps saying <laughs> Should his name be St <laughs> Steve Dave? <laughs> Steve Dave. <laughs> Alright, I... I have a couple different names. Someone suggested the name Steve Dave and John Daniel Douglas. Steve Dave or John Daniel Douglas. I like both a lot. I kind of like John Daniel Douglas. But Steve Dave is also... I'm thinking John Daniel Douglas. Oh no! You know, let's... Innovate. John Daniel Douglas. We liking it? John Daniel Douglas? I like Steve Dave. I'm gonna screenshot that for later. But for now, it's, um, John Daniel Douglas. Be that dad. Look, I'm such a cool dad. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Hey, dad. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, he'd start crying again. I mean, big mood. I rolled above her head with my superior dad arms. Do you want to come see my dad? His name is John Daniel Douglas. He looks like he tried to sell me... Some weird pickle thing. He looks like he rides an electric 
So what, does he color his hair or something? Probably. Just this weird scratch. Either that or he colors his beard. <laughs> That's my daughter Amanda. Are you the dad? Yeah, I'm John Daniel <laughs> Douglas. John Daniel. Oh right, Emma P was the one who... Oh god. <laughs> Pooped her pants during a sleepover. I feel like a dad would remember. I know what the poop. Yeah. Dad, that was me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so... Such a queen. She's such a queen. So do we like Emma P or... No. Do we like her or not? I hate her. <laughs> I hate her. He holds my hands and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him. And he says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. <sighs> oh, John Daniel Douglas. Who misses him's husband. I miss him. John Daniel Douglas. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. I can't do voices. <clears throat> Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor, <laughs> floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. Amanda, I love you. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real don't you dare. Senior. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. And the for sale sign is still in the yard. Did someone kick my window? Amanda? I got a problem with authority. That's my daughter. Yeah, I'm so proud. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Amanda, I love you. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. John Daniel Douglas, I don't want to hear it. Listen to your daughter. <laughs> I don't know what voice I'm gonna do for this. I'm not good with voices. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Just whack me in the face. Ow! Frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Who <laughs> whacked me in the face with Frisbee? Woof. <laughs> I go, oh, puppy. I do like your necktie. I like your necktie. Rough. Unpart unto me your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof woof. Thank you. How long do I have left? Grr. What's that? I'm already too late. My fate was predetermined for me a long time ago. I have no real agency in this cruel lifetime. Rough rough. You're right. I am the master of my domain, for fate is unknowable. Thank you, wise dog. Go. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over us and takes the frisbee from me. Hi. Hi. My name's John Daniel Douglas. I'm John Daniel Douglas. <laughs> this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over Amanda only to find her sitting on the ground rubbing the dog's tummy. It's my girl. Great to see another father and daughter. Father? Another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Ten. <laughs> my natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Go on, Daisy. Tell them about yourself. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15. <sighs> Why do I have a band-aid? Produce a band-aid from your pocket. Take a knee and start to apply to a Mandazar. What are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent! <laughs> Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get to the top prize. A canoe! We're taking it out next weekend. Said her first word at 10 months. Daddy, I don't want to take any up or take up any more of your time. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. That's Brian. F Brian fills me with rage as well. Yeah, you come to say hello. Cat break. Meh. Me fan club make some noise. Meep 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 on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people and here she is here i'll sit it 
like this so you can see us both. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit in the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because he's technically not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. John Daniel Douglas, I feel you. We walk inside. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello, sir. <laughs> hmm. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. He's so attractive. I. He's beautiful. I'll have a. Ooh, chai. I like chai. I don't think. You would drink that coffee? Iced tea is very good, but I think he would have a chai. I would have chai. Spicy. <laughs> um. <laughs> Come around here often. Oh god, of course he comes around here often. This is his shop. God, I'm... Spicy. I don't get it. Oh my god, John Daniel Douglas. Do you want that in small, <laughs> medium, or biggie small? Okay, Matt, uh, I love you. Matt, honey, baby, sweet summer child, you don't know how to run a business, do you? What's his deal? John Daniel Douglas, I think his deal is incredible. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, John Daniel Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nave, I gotta say it. Oh, right on. Oh, I love you so much, man. Matt goes to the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing and he cooks too. Working on a new banana bread. Mmm. Banana bread recipe. Yes. Secret ingredient is bananas. I would have never thought. Grateful banana bread. That's so good. Oh no, I'm sorry. That actually has a nice ring to it. Then why didn't you like it? Great, why did you not be, ha why are you not happy with it? You were, it was black, not hearts. Matt, strong decisions, that's hard, baby. He called me baby. Then maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. No, you can call me baby all you want, Matt. See, sounds good when you say it. Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome. Our eyes meet just for a moment. I hastily look away, <laughs> hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. We're not gonna see Pretty Boy. I be a bad bad there. Eh? Not the scruffy. So bad for leather jacket wearing baddie. <laughs> look, I mean. First visitor already? He looks like a cult leader. A handsome, clean cut man. Sorry, I was looking at his butt. <laughs> this doesn't look pineapple and beige, that's a deal breaker. I hate to tell you. I, I hate to tell you. Hi, I'm John Daniel Davis. Davis? Douglas? Don Daniel? Jingleheimer Schmidt? <laughs> Joseph, I don't know. He's leaning in already. We both share a laugh. Ha ha! <laughs> Kids, right? Amanda disappears with the cookies. <laughs> She's got her priorities straight. I respect that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you if you tried to waste more, more than two. Let me guess, he has more than two kids? I have four kids. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Some myths around? Mister, actually, and uh... He's dead, Joseph. No. Not anymore. He died. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, feel awkward, Joseph. I, after a second, I hear a knock on the door opening it. I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk... About your dead spouse this time? 
throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Okay. Okay, that's kind of charming. Joseph starts walking away but stops to think for a second and turns around. Do you want to join my cult? <laughs> I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. He is in a cult. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. He's winking at me. We're going back to him already? John Daniel Douglas. Going a little too fast. We walk up to the kids and wave. Are they gonna look like the delightful children? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Do they have souls? I chuckle nervously. <laughs> John Daniel. Bro. Oh, it's Craig! Craig, is that his name? He looks like a Craig. Where's Chad? He looks like a Craig. I think it's Craig. Craig! Cleaned up his act. Are you kidding me? He's ripped. You're looking, John Daniel Douglas? Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. They were roommates. How's Smashley doing? I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. She actually still goes by Smashley, and, uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, shit. Man, I'm... John Daniel Douglas, you're just batting a thousand. It's old news. We turk do turk turk turk. <laughs> we take turns taking care of River. He's a frat boy. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, and then he drank it like it was a normal thing people do. It was unholy. And then when I asked him what the hell he was doing, he said, and I quote, "It's basically a smoothie, bro." I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs! He was jogging! Are you gonna be okay, Bob? By your lonesome? Suddenly a pile of envelopes, small, rip, slide through the mail slot. <laughs> Secretly the mayor of this town. Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral duty. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my mayor stuff. I wake up. Do a text from an unknown number. How did he get my number? Hey bud, still want to get your swirl on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. I don't want to work out with you, Craig. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out, but it is Craig. I do want to catch up. Go back to sleep. Immediately fall back to sleep. Yeah. Oh man, how long was I out? What time is it? Look over to the clock. St <gasps> <laughs> Go, man! Fully ready to give him a piece of my mind. Mustache buddies. Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. Colin, you will make it nowhere in life. Mr. Riga turns to me and sighs. I'm all, I've got you, man. Middle schoolers, right? Middle schoolers? What grade is my daughter in? I forgot his voice already. I'm too busy staring at his cheekbones. Please, call me Hugo. Hugo. So did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Riga and I actually gossiped about our celebrity crushes. So you talked about Mario Batali the whole time? Listen, it was a very productive meeting. Who are you texting? Noah. Who's Noah? <laughs> Do you like Noah? Okay. What? No. Dad. Ugh. I can't believe you. Dad. Dad. I mean, jeez. Why would you? Ugh. Gross. Dad, he's just my friend. Something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? <laughs> oh, Amanda. Honey. Which meme? All of them. <laughs> all, all memes. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. What up? <laughs> Dad, please. Dude, you gotta be more specific. Hot topic? <laughs> <laughs> the one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one! I love you so much, Amanda. You have my heart. Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. There, 
<laughs> there it is. You can still see the outline, kind of. I'm so proud. Speech. Amanda. Speech. 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 All right, I'll do it if you stop chanting. I clear my throat. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate a historic moment that will forever shape history. On a date very much like today, five years ago, our very own Amanda Ann Douglas had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. After begging her father to take her to Dead Go oh my god. Dead Goth and Beyond to buy Me <laughs> to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over a display of my chemical romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. I wonder if I would look good in purple eyeliner. Honestly, John Daniel Douglas, you would look good in anything. Hell yes I would, yeah you would boy. Look, this is very important. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> Hi! Wait, I like your hair. Listen, when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was clearly, clearly, clearly Victorian inspired. <laughs> Edward Hindretzage. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. Okay. You're making it hard to like you, and you're gorgeous. Oh no! <laughs> the ghost done. The, do the ghost done can't control the truck. I can't steer on the there damn ass road. Let me use this AVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if you listen carefully, <laughs> it sounds like you're saying you're gonna die. That's because we're about to die. You. This is art. There's food. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm all over those terrible store-bought sugar cookies that everyone brings to parties. Yes, John Daniel Douglas. Now yeah, those are bad. They're incredible, Amanda. Which means there are more for me. John Daniel Douglas, my man. <sighs> it's a lot of words. It's a lot of words. Oh, and how you're married. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Here, let me introduce you around. This is Robert. He lives just across the way. Mm. Hi. A haggard man nursing a glass of whiskey as we get down. Hey. Hey! <laughs> I'm John Daniel Douglas. It's nice to meet you, sir. He takes a long swig of his drink. John. Robert ambushes away without saying goodbye. Bye, Robert, I love you. Some of the food spread out on the table. I pick it some deviled eggs. Deviled eggs are fucking delicious. Amanda, grab. Hello? Cat break. Can you help? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for that. Great. That was great. Was... And that goes through frisbee in my head. As much as I want to eat a burger, I really want to. Damien regards me up and down with a warm but critical eye. <laughs> How do you do? Very good taste on her part. Does she partake in the goth lifestyle? I look over to Amanda, who is hanging with some older kids in the neighborhood. Hey, Amanda! <laughs> Would you consider yourself goth? I wouldn't necessarily try to follow the. <laughs> <laughs> any one specific label, but I guess if I had to choose, I would more describe myself as a twee hipster with some normcore leanings. Bats are cool, though. I also like The Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that count as goth? Damien finishes the the floor. <laughs> the floor is in a bell producing a single rose and offering it to Amanda. Amanda blushes and returns the gesture with a curtsy. <sighs> A man to be my wingman. Mary finishes her wine and wanders off. Okay, so she's a wine mom, drunk mom. That little rat. Lucian, I remember you. Joseph turns to the grill just to hint it. She got it. 
tattoo. Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve, revealing a lopsided 666 in black ink. Careful though, that number carries weight. Would you know, Joseph? I swear this man's a co-leader. All right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. I will definitely continue this sometime. You'll probably see it in my Discord when I do. Um, yeah. Bye. John Daniel Douglas. 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 I'm John Daniel. John Daniel Douglas. 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 John Daniel. John Daniel Douglas. John Daniel Douglas. John Daniel Davidson. Hi, I'm John Daniel Davis. Davis? Douglas. John Daniel. Jingleheimer Schmidt. John Daniel Douglas.